In this new episode of Open at Microsoft, we have Vincent again talking about Fluent Y and Blazor. But right now, we're going to see some code, some demos, and learn how can you to contribute. Stay tuned. Vincent, welcome back to Open at Microsoft. Feeling good today? Yeah, great to be here again. Oh, that's exciting. So right now, I want to know more about Fluent UI. We talked a little yes. bit about already on the past episodes, how can, what motivated, and what is Fluent UI, but I want to know more about it. I want to know a demo. I want to see something. Do you have anything for us today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So exactly. Yeah. So in the previous episode, we just went into like the history and the details of, uh, of how it became uh, a library. But now uh, today we want to get more hands on. So let's uh, start up Visual Studio and uh, yeah, just do a uh, file new project. Because as I explained in the, in the last one, um, we have basically uh, built all the templates for Blazor in the Fluent uh, uh, library as well. So if you go to create a new project in, in Visual Studio, you will find in your project list like these two uh, possible project items that you can start with. So let's just create a uh, Fluent UI Blazor web app. Well, name, location, etc. of course, doesn't matter for this one. Uh, and then uh, you get to the configuration. And this would look familiar if you are doing uh, already use uh, the standard Blazor templates. So uh, you can just use the uh, .NET 8 uh, framework, of course. We could go with or without the uh, uh, individual authentication, uh, and we can get like a server mode uh, for each of those uh, of those pages, or do that on a global level. And of course, we can also include the, the sample pages. So maybe it's interesting to also uh, uh, set up those individual accounts. Uh, then we just do create, just like you do with the normal library uh, project. Loads. And while it's loading, oh, it goes to a different I, screen. I do like your wallpaper, though. Really nice. That .NET 8 part. Thanks. <laughs> That's for the uh, .NET 8 conf uh, uh, that we got that from. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically, you just have like the uh, the regular uh, pages and, and site that you have with the, the regular uh, standard template. Uh, so everything is there. Uh, but then with a, a Blazor look and feel. Um, so um, basically, we don't have to do anything else. We can just uh, press uh, F5 or start and uh, start uh, uh, debugging the site or start exploring the site. And uh, what you get will look very familiar uh, from a um, content perspective. So it has all the same pages that you uh, are used to with uh, to get with the Blazor template. Uh, but now it all looks like uh, more of a fluent site. And it is starting up. Uh, I really enjoy how you say that Fluent has a feel, right? Sorry? Uh, you're saying like Fluent has a feel, like you have something that it's, you see, oh, that's Fluent UI directly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's very um, particular and, um, well, it, it might not be for every, say, like uh, site that you're going to put out there. It may be more for line of business applications uh, where you want to have like a, a uh, yeah, that that look and feel of a, of a more business-like application. So uh, probably for a fancy gaming site or your personal blog, uh, you would not be using this, uh, this kind of design. Uh, but for, yeah, like say business applications, this is, this is very much... Uh, um, capable of doing that. So, um, yeah, you, like I said, you have all the regular pages that you get from uh, the regular template as well. Uh, so you have the counter here. It all works, of course. Uh, you have the weather page. Um, and you can immediately see that it's uh, not using that standard HTML template uh, and table that you get. But in this case, it's using our uh, Fluent Data Grid component. So you immediately get capabilities like sorting in there, etc. Uh, and also, all the uh, authorization pages have been uh, ported over to Fluent Look and Feel. Um, so all those uh, screens that you get to register an account, etc., uh, are all using this. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, they are all That's using fine. that Fluent Look and Feel as well. So it's a complete uh, representation of uh, of the template, uh, but yeah, with the, the Blazor Look and Feel, uh, and you get that with a, with a click of a button. 
Any specifics you would like to know on the uh, on the code side of this template? How it I looks, for example. If you ask me, I want to know everything, but we don't have time to see everything. Uh, yeah. Because so, I really like to know about the form because I really like that it could like like change it easily on on that. But we know we have a lot of things to talk about Fluent. I want to know from you, what do you think is more interesting on this code on the demo? Um, what do you mean exactly? Uh, what do you think it's more interesting to see on this demo, the code? Well, I think uh, looking at how you can uh, basically uh, uh, place those Fluent components inside your Blazor application is uh, is interesting. So what we've done is we kind of prefixed every component that we have with the, with the Fluent name, so that, that makes it easy to find them. Uh, and if you would like to uh, yeah, go ahead and, and enter other components, you just start typing with the Fluent and you get the whole list of components in uh, inside of the IntelliSense uh, drop-down, of course. So that makes it easier to find stuff. Um, but it's still quite complex because there's a lot of components. There's a lot of parameters for all those components. Uh, so you'll definitely need uh, to draw to to go back to the uh, to the documentation side, I guess. Um, we do have uh, quite an extensive set of XML documentation, and uh, we're also, of course, um, making that available throughout uh, uh, your coding uh, uh, exercises. But yeah, the, uh, the, 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 the website will be uh, indispensable for getting those, that extra information, um, not just to find what kind of parameters there are, but specifically on, I think, all the examples that are in there. And uh, I'll switch over to that one right now. So we already saw this one uh, on the previous episode, but uh, we can take a little bit of a closer look now. And basically, uh, if you uh, uh, break it down, we have like a couple of areas in this site. So this getting started area is more or less like, uh, yeah, how do you get started? How do you set it up? Uh, what kind of services do you have that you can use for displaying dialogues or tooltips or whatever? Um, then we have like a whole set of components that are uh, not really uh, exposing a lot of fluent design, but they help you to build out uh, layouts that use that fluent design and uh, make it easier to go build a site with it. So there's like that header bar with the blue color and the, te the, the text in a specific uh, size and format. Uh, well, to get that in your site, you just use our header component, uh, etc. Uh, so these are all kinds of uh, um, components that we have available for that. And with each component, uh, you can also see uh, examples of how they can be used within your own site. Uh, so here we have, for example, uh, a splitter component that you can use in a horizontal or vertical way. Um, so we try to expose all those parameters in actual examples that you can use uh, and uh, also make it easy to download the code for such an example. So you, each example has here it's, uh, this download button, which gives you the Razor file that you can use. Or if you just want to take a closer look at the code, you can go to this Razor tab and find all the, uh, the information in there with, of course, also a uh, copy button that makes it easy to get that code into your own application. So uh, yeah, that, I think that just makes it a lot easier to get started and uh, get you going. Um, and in most of the cases, of course, this won't fit your exact uh, needs, but uh, yeah, at least it gets you started and going uh, in a way that, uh, that that's easier. Um, Excellent. Uh, by the way, do you have any GitHub that you can show us to? He says, I want to contribute to this, you know, this incredible, uh, this incredible library and do more things with it. Yeah, of course. So it's all open source. Uh, we love contributions. Uh, we would li definitely like to get more contributors uh, uh, onboarded. So uh, we have a whole community. Uh, of course, there's the uh, the GitHub repo uh, that I'll show in a second. Uh, but we also have like Gitter and uh, Discord channels that we can use to have more like one to one communications. Um, uh, but yeah, the, the the repo is here. It's at uh, GitHub.com Microsoft Fluent UI Dash Blazor. And uh, that's where all the magic happens. So we have like, uh, um, uh, yeah, a lot of contributors already, but uh, we want to have more. We want to have discussions here. Uh, we would like you to raise issues if you're running into problem. Uh, maybe even answer a couple of questions or, or answer a couple of, uh, uh, post a couple of solutions to issues that are out there. But uh, yeah, uh, 
we really love to have you on board and, and help us build out this, uh, this, this library to even uh, better levels. Mm -hmm. I know you have as well server versions, uh, WebAssembly versions, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and the, the demo site that we saw earlier uh, on the other tab is actually also part of the repository. So here in this uh, demo folder, you have like the, the client version of that demo site, but there's also uh, a server version of that demo, and they both grab back into this, uh, this shared folder that basically contains all the sample pages and components that we use in those uh, the demo environments. So if you clone the repository, uh, you can uh, run those, uh, those demo sites from your own uh, local environment and choose to go either with the client uh, WebAssembly version or with the server version. This looks incredible. Folks, if you want to know more and uh, want to go to the repo or the website, um, see on the description, I have all the links for you and socials. Stay tuned for more OpenFAI. I'm Pablo Lopez. That was visited with Flutterwire and Blazor Demo. See you soon. <laughs>